what's going on guys well somebody that was one of my subscribers wanted to know what I use on Linux um, a lot of people have asked and I usually don't show my desktop for a variety of reasons um, but I won't get into the reasons why I'll just give you a quick rundown on what I use for applications um, as you can tell defaultly I get rid of all the crap down here because it really doesn't matter to me that much I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts and that stuff when I have various programs open and I use the desktop environment to my advantage. I like a clean desktop interface. Um, we'll start with accessories. I do have Avon Windows Navigator um, for if I'm showing off some bling. I got Virus Scanner because you never know. Um, games. The only two I've actually really installed have been Glassed and Warzone 2100. Those are basically really my only favorite games I've downloaded and enjoy on Linux um, for open source games. Graphics, I've installed GIMP, i installed Inkscape. Camoso is actually, should not be in graphics, it should be under Sound and Video because it is a webcam program like Cheese, but it's for KDE. And Cosmic, um, go to GNOME Look, go to KDE Look, some of those flame fractal drawings and stuff that you'll find are either done in GIMP or they're done in this program called Cosmic which is a Cosmic Recursive Flame Fractal Editor <laughs> written in QT, according to them. Internet, Ikiga, um, I really don't use. The two, I don't use Firefox. Um, the only thing I use Firefox for is to check Alexia rankings, and I can do that now in Chrome. But generically, I use Opera, which, yes, is proprietary, God forbid. I actually have a couple uh, proprietary programs. Um, and I'll explain why I use Opera, though. Um, Office, IBM Lewis Symphony, because I love the UI in it, and I hate the UI in OpenOffice. If I want something that looks like MS Office 03, I'll use Office 03. Just my outlook on it. Aesthetics do play some type of importance to me. Not a lot, but some. Unite Media Player. This is an Opera widget. This is the only reason I have Opera on my computer. That and it's fast. I use this because it allows me to stream from my desktop to my phone via anything that has a flash connection and since I have an Android phone I can use flash that's a positive to me so basically what it allows me to do is to stream mp3s my entire mp3 collection and folders and stuff right from my desktop without having to use anything on my phone as far as data storage which is great um, Sound and video is actually where most of my install stuff is. Audacity I use for podcasting and mixing of various things. Uh, Bangarang is a newer media player. Um, it's kind of half-baked, really not fully there yet. Boxy, it's XMBC with a few proprietary add-ons. And if you're on Windows, you have Netflix integration, which is a definite plus. Cheese, um, webcam program. Uh, Clementine. For those that did not like the upgrade to 2.0 for Amarox, Clementine is based off Amarox 1.4, which is like the version everyone loves, and it continues on developing 1.4. DVD I use for making YouTube-friendly videos. Enna is a multi... <laughs> it's not really a multimedia center, but... It is. Uh, basically what it is is it has functions of XBMC. Doesn't have a lot of the scripting stuff. Doesn't have a lot of the modding stuff. But it has some of its own perks and features like ebooks that you can read on there. E-comics and a few other things. So there's it's different. Exhale. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's basically MROX for, written in GTK. Uh, that's my personal music player anyway. GTK Record, great if you have an NVIDIA or a Intel chip for graphics. Not so good if you're running on open source ATI, or sorry, AMD, or um, their proprietary drivers. Istanbul is actually what I'm using to record this. Jajuk, I like the program. I'll probably end up doing a review of it sometime soon. Um, it's available in Windows, I want to say, too but it is a Java-based music player, so there are some serious problems with that being Java-based. K2 
Caden Live. Caden Live is pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I'm going to say the UI is a kludge to new users. Others would disagree. I'm in the I agree that it's a kludge to use if you haven't used it before. M player. It's an open source media player. It comes with a bunch of codecs. Um, open shot. Probably the easiest and most powerful video editor to use on Linux, in my opinion. Pravati, not so much. Um, if you want something, something like Pravati can be compared to using the YouTube video editor. You're better off using the YouTube video editor. <laughs> um, Run the box, I don't generically use. The only thing I like about it is the Ubuntu one in integration. The only other application I use for the most part, other than Webcam Studio, which is a Cam Studio or Camtasia type program for Linux, is Transcriber. Um, basically what that does is it takes the need of having a media player and like a text editor or application open when transcribing from audio for like interviews or class notes or something like that, and it combines that into one application with shortcuts and a few other things, which make it really good for when I do my examiner.com stuff. <sighs> System tools. I use uh, Confusion Icon if I have a few issues with comps or whatever. Basically, what this does is it allows you to do the you know comps fusion dash dash replace or you know gnome shell dash dash replace, and it allows you to do most of that through a GUI instead of using the terminal. So there are those type of options. Ubuntu tweak, you have access to changing stuff, some things on the boot up menu, some things on the uh, uh, programs list, some PPA archives that you can activate. UNet booting, uh, create live USBs. Yeah, that's pretty self explanatory. The next program is under universal access, which is Mousetrap. Basically, what it does is it takes your webcam and it's supposed to make it so that your webcam interprets your movements to the mouse. Great in theory for those with disabilities, because that's what it's for. Um, but it's still not big, because right now all it does is sit around and do nothing. At least on my system. Wine, I have installed for the few programs that I have tried it with, uh, Camp Studio being one of them. Songbird, even though they stopped making Linux builds, you can still install the new Windows versions under Wine, and it still works perfectly fine. Hell, you can even get all the add-ons. The same. And I have Trillion. But that's for something else. Um, so yeah, that's what I use, guys. Um, a lot of reasons, a lot of variety of reasons why. But, you know, you guys have asked, that's what I'm showing you I use. And that's all I gotta say to you guys. So, peace. Catch you later. Rate it, subscribe it. Y'all know what the hell to do.